hey everyone creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and look at this beauty on your screen and if you need such light you have to create one so let's start with the tutorial first of all as usual insert a rounded rectangle shape so you have to increase its roundness and place it in the center currently it looks like a tablet um, so the next step would be yeah we have to draw a curve a curve line select a curve and draw a wave pattern so you have to be careful here you have to draw a very perfect kind of curve so you just have to draw this curve and meet the starting point of the curve like this now our curve shape is complete now we have to remove the extra portion extra area of this curve shape for that we have to subtract it from the rounded rectangle shape but we have to duplicate it we have duplicated the shape as you can see on your screen right now and we have to select both these shapes and subtract I think I've done a mistake here let's color this one the duplicated shape then select both these shape and select intersect now we have this remaining curve shape on this capsule shape now what should we do we should insert gradient so gradient is something which is my favorite and you should always try gradients if you want to showcase something colorful something bright then gradients are very useful and just and i just love those those kind of patterns where gradients are used so i am trying to use here so as you can see on your screen i have placed a small color palette at the bottom of the slide so i'm using the same color pattern now i have filled white color on the curve shape and increase the transparency now apply a shadow effect on the whole shape and adjust these shadow parameters so it's, it is totally up to you how to use these kind of parameters so you can experiment here now I have applied uh, a colorful shadow here not the default black one I've also increased the brightness of red color here now I'm adjusting the gradient stops so that I can get the perfect effect on the shape I think this is looking perfectly fine now let's select group together you can press ctrl plus G you can group the shapes now duplicate this curve shape and to create a theme we will apply this curve shape in the background first we have to give it a light gray color and you have to enlarge it and we will place it in the background let's reduce the view size and let's place it in the background once placed we will remove the extra portion of this shape for that we have to insert a rectangle and place it on the shape then we can subtract it from the curve shape you just have to go to format merge shapes and subtract again I just missed the mouse click so subtract first we have to select the rectangle uh, curve shape then rectangle shape and then select the subtract so similarly we will follow the same approach to the area at the bottom of the slide or we'll select the curve shape then rectangle then merge shape then click on subtract 
and now we have this beautiful gradient not gradient the curve shape in the background now let's insert a circle and place it in the center and we will just align it and this is this will be used to fill some kind of stat some numbers you can use it to fill important uh, information here if you want to showcase some sales number like you have achieved 46 percent targets you can write 46 percent so like we are writing 56k let's do it differently we will not add this number in the circle in the circle we will add icon so we will keep the number here only but we will increase its font size i'm using open sans font mm -hmm. so let's change the color to white and we should also make it let's try a different font oswald here nowadays i'm quite a lot using this font now insert some dummy text here you can write some heading and small description it's totally up to you so i'm writing here small text with open sans light font because oswald will not be such good such a good font in case you want to showcase text in a small font because it is a very condensed font open sans is good for descriptions so i'm using open sans light and place it in the center you can use align function to align it in the center of the shape now select the shape again and go to format and let's insert another shape of similar size and what i'm trying to do here is we will add a reflection effect here a reflection of a light so i have created a similar shape here you can also do one thing in the beginning when i created the shape you can duplicate the shape and keep a copy of it so that you don't have to create it again now I've created this capsule shape again and we will remove some portion of it diagonally and place it above our infographic shape that we have just created and once placed we will add a gradient color and on both the gradient stops we will add white color so I'm just placing it go to gradient remove one stop here or we will only keep two gradient stops and on, go on both the gradient stops use white color also change the angle from top to bottom and for the bottom gradient we will increase the transparency to 100% and for top gradient we will move it slightly and you can keep it around 40 to 50% it's up to you it depends upon the color how much is visible we just want to give a very light effect uh, so that <clears throat> the information should be clearly visible now select all these three components shape and text and bring to front now our shape is ready it's time to insert some icons here so i've already downloaded these three icons let's place one in the center and i've kept the icon height and width to 1.8 now select this old shape and press ctrl g to group it duplicate it and reduce the size by let's say 10 percent and align it on the left once aligned let's reduce the font as well by 10 percent also reduce the size for the icon as well 
Now duplicate the shape. First align to bottom both these shapes and now duplicate this small the smaller one and place it on the right. And the next step would be after aligning is to change the information. Like we have changed the information here. Now the first one says 46k, second one 56k and third one 36k. We have also changed the icons here. Now let's add some text here like credit winners, business presentations, some dummy text, one call to action. So it's a pretty, pretty easy stuff. You can do it on your own as well. So you can experiment few things here. You can try different colors, different text style. You can keep it. You can keep the text and information left line, center line. You can also insert some shape. So you have to be creative here. You can try a number of things or you can do what I'm doing here. I'm playing with the Oswald font here, Oswald light. Let's write business presentation. Increase the font because this is our main heading. I think we should keep the business in a bigger font, big, bold and better. I think we should remove the presentation from it and place it separately. Increase the font, slide, font size a bit and place it below business. Now it looks much better. My most of the time goes to aligning things here and there. So for that moment I take a pause because speaking while designing is a very difficult task for me. So I try to rest and take pauses while I'm aligning things. So Let's change the color to gradient, the same gradient that we applied in all the shapes. So I have applied the gradient, same gradient. Let's give it some angle. Let's pick this angle. Please subscribe to our channel in the meantime and also like this video and share your thoughts in the comment section below. And also, if you have time, you can download the template from the link given in the video description. So here I am adding some dummy text. You can change the text as per your requirement. I have written paragraph here. You can also add bullet points with some good icons. It's up to you. You can also add a square shape here or rectangle shape in the background of this text. That will also look good. So. I have reduced the font size and applied uh, something like dark grey color on the font. Black will not good, uh, look good here. So the next step would be to add some nice call to action. Call to actions are good in your presentation if you want to showcase your client while giving presentation some website or any landing page of your website. So call to actions are uh, great in that case so we have applied the same color on the call to action as well but we will remove this greenish stop I have deleted it now after applying the gradient let's write here something like explore or learn more like shop you can also add buy now so it depends upon the context of the presentation now select all this information on the left and place it toward the middle of the slide let's apply a colorful shadow to it let's apply this pink color adjust the shadow parameters and it will look good so our presentation slide is almost complete now only one step is pending and let's copy this background curve we have to rotate it vertically and horizontally and 
let's reduce its size I'm just figuring out how to place it so let's reduce its size and place it on the top left I'm just trying to figure out how it will look good let's remove this extra portion from here and we will get a very small portion of it and that is what is required here now we will stretch it after placing it perfectly let's increase its width and apply the same gradient color that we applied throughout this slide and our slide design is ready so you can adjust it in the end you can try different colors different themes you can also draw this slide in the black background so you have n number of options to create such kind of slide i hope you like the design of this slide and it will be a very useful slide for your college business or school presentation so please subscribe to our channel like this video share our thoughts in the comment section and share this video as well so thank you everyone thanks for being patient and spending your time on my videos thank you everyone have a nice day bye bye